We got Sean Forster on the line. You see his YouTube channel right there, so check it out. Uh, I came across it and said, hey, got to have this guy on to see what he's got for uh, the Oklahoma talk here with the Voice of College Football. You know what the deal is. Please like the videos, share the videos out on social media. People out there don't know that we're here talking college football every day. And, of course, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notifications. That way you know when we're going live. All right. There's all this talk in college football, unlike any other sport, about Who's elite? How many teams are elite? Is it just Alabama Clemson, Alabama Clemson, Ohio State? Then there seems to be a dividing line. Georgia, Oklahoma are right there. Certainly above, let's say, Notre Dame and what has been Michigan and Penn State before bad seasons last year. <laughs> and the like all across the board. Throw in Florida, USC if you want to go more historic. Where does Oklahoma stand in the Pantheon? Um, I've I've always thought about this. Like, if we're being all, if we're being honest, it's it take off the the colors and everything. Um, it's Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State. They're kind of like they're kind of on a level on to themselves right now. In my opinion, Oklahoma is on a level by themselves. I don't think there's anyone else next to them at the moment because how many programs like they do the same thing as Clemson. Like uh, it's Oklahoma and Clemson who have won the, their conference. What's five, six years straight at this point. No one else has done that. Not even Alabama, not even Ohio state. You have back, you've had back to back highs and winners back to back, you know, quarterbacks into going number one in the draft. And then you throw Jalen hurts in there who Alabama gets credit. It's a shared credit with Alabama as well. But I would argue Lincoln Riley is the reason he got picked in the second round. Uh, and then you have just, um, you know, consistent playoff appearances. So I, I think if Oklahoma had at least one or two playoff wins under their belt, that they would be on that same pantheon. But they're kind of on a level, just lonesome. They're right. They're almost right there. I think uh, once the defense, once they start putting more defensive players in the league, and you know, just winning a few playoff games here and there, they will be on that top level as well. Sean, how do you distinguish that ranking versus an all-time ranking? As in greatest programs ever? Yes. Or- Oh, Oklahoma, without question, is one of the greatest all programs of all time. Uh, you, the, the numbers speak for themselves. I mean, it, everyone has like their opinions on what's a, a quote unquote blue blood. Who's the? And, and then some people have a list of thirty teams, which is ridiculous. I think at the end of the day, some people have eight, but there's really five programs all time in no particular order. It's Alabama, Ohio State, USC, Notre Dame, and Oklahoma. Those are your five greatest ever. And people are going to say, what about Michigan? What about what about some of these other schools? Michigan's great, but there's been way too many gaps where they've been not dominant, where they, they've had way too many periods where they were just haven't been you know, a presence in the sport. Notre Dame lately, Brian Kelly is the best coach they've had since Lou Holtz, and they need to do everything they can to keep hold on to him. But Notre Dame is kind of, you know, they're Coca-Cola. They've been around forever. <laughs> you know, they're, they're just a branding. Like when you're, when you're a part of pop culture, you just kind of don't go away. Uh, but for everyone else, like USC is in a, a down period right now, but they're a sleeping giant. If they get the right coach, they'll be back and they'll be, they've been one of the most consistent programs. I would argue before Alabama, you know, had the run with Nick Saban, I would say USC was the greatest program of all time. And that's going to hurt some feelings like from elsewhere. But, you know, you just look at what they've done up until Pete Carroll. Uh, Alabama speaks for themselves. Like they no longer have to claim fake national championships. They have real ones. Now they can claim, they don't have to like double up anymore. Um, and Ohio state has been, you know, has been, has been great for, you know, ever since the days of Woody Hayes. So, um, you know, Oklahoma, like they've had a couple of down periods, like brief periods in the sixties. And there's the 1990s, which I lived through. And that's, that's the OU football. I have earliest memories of, unfortunately, but those are your top five, so to speak. 